What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my level of news where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Like I said last week, the Nintendo Direct got pushed back due to the Xbox Business update. Nintendo had told us that we will be getting a 25 minute direct presentation that will show us games coming within the next 6 months to the Nintendo Switch. This might be the direct that tells us that the Hi-Fi Rush will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Let's see what they have in store for us. A new update is coming to the Helldivers on PC and PlayStation 5, which should make a lot of people happy. The lead producer had this to say about the update in the latest Discord message to the community. Hello there Helldivers. We have improvements rolling out this week focused on the most serious problems in the game, login, matchmaking, and server load. You will see one update PC and PlayStation tomorrow. Though please keep in mind that no single update will solve all the issues. Rather, we are making continuous improvements over the days and weeks to come. We are working hard to make sure the game is stable on PC and PlayStation. We have been working really hard on the game and it's awesome to see the developer continue to work on their game after release. Multiple analysts have been looking into Sony's numbers and are now saying that there is a pro version going to be released later this year. This is supposed to be an updated and refreshed version of the already awesome PlayStation. The problem with the mid-generation great this year is that the gaming business, even with all its great hits coming out, the numbers are down across the board. I'm looking forward to a mid-generation console, but what do you guys think? Is it too soon, or is it the right time for another console? Helldivers 2 have been pretty crazy with the amount of players that have been playing the game and its ever-growing numbers. With a bad week and thousands of players stuck in the queue and wanting to play, the servers have been jammed and players now want developers to start taking action against those who are online and not playing or away from a keyboard or controller. Some players have even been leaving the game on overnight to be able to play because of the long wait in the queue. The developers are starting to weigh down on those players, so be careful if you're one of those. Rumors have it, Nintendo won't be releasing the next console until next year. With all the good praises and all the good games that come out on Nintendo Switch, many believe that this year would be the year they would be getting the successor to the Nintendo Switch. It's around the time that we will be getting a new Nintendo console since the last one was released on March 3rd, 2017. Let's see if we at least get an announcement by the end of the year. Warframe has been out for more than 10 years at this point. With multiple expansions to the story and gameplay changes and balances, they are now bringing all that content to iPhone starting today. The game will have the same features as it does on PC and consoles, and it will have cross-play and cross-save for everything. They are going to be giving away some loot to the people that log in during launch week. In the latest trailer for the upcoming manga game, Sandland dives into 9 minutes of gameplay. The game will follow the story of Fiend Prince, Bezabuk, and his friends on the journey to the legendary spring. The trailer shows all various systems, monsters, and combat. The game launches April 26, 2024, and it should be something special to all the anime lovers out there. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you've had enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm.